Yeah, yeah, it is. It's, it's fun, but um, it's also quality fun, I think. Uh, Knuckles McGinty is a, a pretty interesting kind of a character to take on. That's the first thing. And the first film is really good. Um, it's really, really sort of enjoyable. I got a great kick out of it. He's a prison chef, and Paddington finds his way um, into a situation where, uh, you know, in being helpful, he questions maybe the menu. And uh, so that's how it starts off. And uh, he's a lot of fun, Knuckles, I have to say. Um, he's kind of got one of those hearts of gold locked away in a quite mad exterior, really. <laughs> Paul's very instinctive that way. He, he's not trying to, uh, we're, we haven't backed away from the initial fierceness of this guy, you know. Uh, and I think it's really good that you trust kids with that kind of, you know, they're able to deal with it. You know, you teach them to deal with it in some odd way by just saying, well, don't judge the book by its cover and certainly not by a chef's hat. <laughs> Some of the stuff, the, the set dressing and <laughs> some of the food items, I have to say, were just amazing. I mean, if you can't have fun in that environment, and it was brilliant to come, you know, in every day and be challenged even by the props, you know, to be challenged by them and say, oh, I wonder, could I use that? Uh, you know, and to find the people there, and there's a kind of an eccentricity that's embraced in Britain that I always find really interesting. So the more eccentric the better it was like eccentricity welcome you just know when you walk through the door so it's a book it has to be a bundle of laughs of course it does